Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Uncharted 4 with Hitokiri John. I am Hitokiri John, and now you guys can finally see me. Welcome to the channel. Um, I know I've been saying, I said in the past episode that I want to get my webcam working. I was able to do that, so now you guys can check out all my uh, my wonderful, you know, and goofy expressions as I play the play through this game with you guys um, let me know in the comments how you guys like the webcam if you don't like the webcam I can turn it back off um, it's pretty easy it's actually easier to edit the video without it so uh, just let me know anyway let's get back into it so uh, last episode what we did was basically just a ton of platforming we got um, to the St. Dismas Cathedral um, where Rafe and his guys his thugs um, Nadine with Shoreline are uh, trying to excavate basically by just blowing the shit out of everything so every few seconds you hear like a cannonball which is basically just dynamite going off in that uh in that region um them looking for the treasure i'm assuming they're trying to you know blow the treasure out of the ground or something um uh, uh i'm not sure how how well how well it's going to work for those guys um so where we left off was we finally got to the graveyard and um basically that's where we're at now so let's just keep going Look at this place. Welcome to the St. Dismas Dormitory, alleged final resting place of one Henry Avery. <laughs> Let's find that grave. Let's do it. Hey Nathan, check it out. This one's got a pair of cutlasses. Coming. Cutlasses. That is a very pirate thing. It's like the scroll from the cross. The dates aren't right. Well, one down and a hell of a lot to go. So I'm assuming we're looking for a grave with these dates on it. Um, I'm not sure though. How do I look at the book? So I guess I'm looking for a grave that looks like this maybe? So it's got the cutlasses, there's a sun in the background, skull and crossbones right below it, and then maybe there's the date that's going to be on it. I don't know if any of the writing on the writing on around it is going to be um, part of the gravestone or not, but uh, maybe we'll see. Ah, oh, cool. We can just flip through his book now. Uh, it doesn't look like we have much in here. Pictures of the dormitories? Ah, oh, the dormitories. Of the priests or whatever. Skull and crossbones, cross swords, dates. St. Dimitri's Cathedral. We got stuff about Rafe in here. 32 Rafe Adler, big box scion. Want to see something cool? We're en route to New York for a shareholder meeting, but Adler has no interest in discussing business. Instead, he shows me his latest find, a fabulous jeweled egg. One of a kind, he says. I had to do some serious digging, go out in the field, but that's the part, that's the best part. It's no fun if you don't get your hands a little dirty. Written on photo. Mime's daddy bought me this plane. Mm, yes, sorry, not mimes. Blue article. We'll be fine. It's not like Rafe is a psychopath with unlimited resources. No, he, he really is a psychopath with unlimited resources. Shoreline aids rebels in war. Shoreline's presence in the capital city confirms what many people suspected. Leading Ross is continuing her ambitions. Her ambitious expansion of Shoreline's resources involving them in several theaters of conflict around the globe or that Nadine's got a mean uh, written below or that Nadine's got a mean high kick and an army at her back at her, at her beck and call crap I'm pretty bad at reading right now really apologize about that read some more we got some old stuff about the cross So was I able to bring this out the whole time during the game? Oh, okay, that's cool. Drive away with cross very, very fast. Crossed out. 
<laughs> Lobster stuff, ravioli, crossed out, ibuprofen for dinner. <laughs> I think I'm getting too old for this kid. That's funny. Italian phrases, useful Italian phrases. My name is Michiamo. I don't understand. I don't understand. Non capisco. Please speak slowly. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I'm, I'm just gonna fuck all of that up. Uh, my girlfriend's actually Italian, so maybe she can, when she comes over later, she can uh, explain to me what this shit is. There must be a beginning of any great matter, but the continuing, but the continuing unto the end until to be, unto the end until it be thoroughly finished yields the true glory. I apologize, I really fucked that up. I'm not sure what that means. Anyway, we'll move on with the story. Okay, cross cutlasses, skull and crossbones, and the date 1659. To 1699. We find a tombstone with all three, and we're in business. Well, let's desecrate some graves. 1671 to 1697. Not correct. No, this is not the grave. Yeah, no. I know, buddy. This one doesn't have a skull and crossbones. <laughs> it also doesn't have the right dates. Hey, look at this one. Tempus Edax Rarum. Time devours all things. Jeez, cherry bunch of folks we got here. So I basically can I look at any of these guys? Oh, darn. We got mummies? Like what? People just digging up these graves? Looks like Rafe's been digging around already. Oh, great. Good thing he has no idea what he's actually looking for. <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, Let's rich with unlimited resources, uh, they tend to get lucky more than the most. If you have enough money to dig around long enough, you're bound to find something. I don't know if there's any graves worth noting around here. Um, but also looking for treasure at the same time. Uh, anything in this, this place? Ah, oh, this one looks cool. But I'm not getting a prompt to look at it, so... I guess it's just somebody's tomb. Pretty dope, though. Moving on. Hey, where you going? I'm gonna look over here first. Uh, okay. Hold on, is this like going too far down or something? Oh, I get I can't even go down. Hey Nathan, the are all yeah, I know, relax, buddy. Looking for treasure and shit. Oh fuck. It's kinda what I do. Huh. I'm assuming this may be Things we move on to later, or is this just all for exploring? Maybe when we come out. I think I left the graveyard. No, the graveyard's right there. Relax, buddy. There you go. Let's go up. It's fine, man. We just we're just looking for treasure, you know. Guys, like I say every video, please let me know in the comments if you'd rather me not um, explore too too much um, and stick more to the story. 
Because I know this can kind of get annoying, me just wandering about. We got tall grass around here, so I'm assuming there's going to be fights around here pretty soon. Anyway, let's try and find our way back to Sam. I don't think we want to jump down there, though. Maybe we do. Actually, we do. Yeah, I'm coming, brother. Oh. Do I want to go that way? I bet Rafe is standing back somewhere watching us, and that's why there's all of this tall grass around. Because as soon as we find something, somebody's gonna fucking pop out at us. No swords. No, this isn't it. I believe the dates are also off on that one. No swords there. I'm not seeing any swords there either. I guess the easiest thing to look out for would be the swords. Yeah, the swords there. Gray. Huh. Date is correct, but the swords mm. are upside down. Wrong one. Yeah, you're just you're making us work for this, aren't you, Avery? Swords are also upside down. What about this? Wrong date and the swords don't match the scroll. Yeah, I, I'm not even looking at the dates actually. Maybe Sam has found it. Yeah, well, the swords are matched. Dates match. So is the year. Benjamin Sam, Bridgman. Where'd you find it? <sighs> You got the skull and crossbones too. That's Avery's alias. <laughs> Something odd about this skull, though. It's like it, it doesn't belong to the stone. Really? Yeah, what's odd about it is that's not Avery's sigil. Huh. Yeah, I mean, the skull should be facing. Turn the skull. Sideways. Sideways. What? What is that? My God. <laughs> Ready for this? Oh, I've been ready for a long time. How does this even work? Yeah, look at that. Like the 1600s were like it's still the years of like stone. Like you have to get like hydraulics and shit to make shit like this work. You turn a fucking head and Let's see what we got. Like a set of stairs appears. <laughs> Or maybe you can set it so that it only works once, and then... I don't know. I don't, I don't know how the hell you'd build a contraption like that. It's a crypt. A crypt? Hidden behind a secret door? I assume the secret door was added afterwards. <laughs> to hide his Ooh. loot. Well, fingers crossed. We should have closed the entrance. Um, feeling a little trapped down here. Uh, let's see what this paper says. One of the old monks wrote this. Cool. I'm going to try and read it without uh, hitting the square button. A miracle at long last. And on our good St. Dismas's feast day. Weeks after we learned the Browns intent. I, I can't. I can't really read it. Sorry. I'm just going to hit the square button. A miracle at last. And on our good St. Dismas's feast day. Weeks after we learned the crown's intent to shutter our cathedral and reclaim our lands, a stranger wandered into our midst as my novice and I concluded our morning prayer. A startling vision with flint-colored eyes and a thick, unkept beard. He was clothed in a naval captain's uniform, bearing a magnificent sword with a large leather satchel. We bade him join us, and he graciously accepted at mealtime, the stranger related a sad tale of a battle at sea and the desire to bury his fallen comrades on sacred ground, confessing a kinship of sorts with our good St. Dismas. 
And thus we shared our own tales of woe, the grounds in despair, no money forthcoming from the crown, and the cathedral abandoned us, abandoned save for the two of us. He nodded knowingly before drawing out of his satchel a quantity of gold coins, the likes of which I had never seen. The stranger offered us this, co this gold in exchange for our land and all the structures contained within the grounds. Though my beliefs conflicted with my desires in the end, I felt to turn, I felt to turn him down with, would be foolish. With this amount of gold, we can certainly do more good elsewhere than here along this forgotten coastline. As for the stranger, may these lands serve his intentions well, whatever they may be. So, so essentially, Captain Avery bought the land of St. Dismas and the church from these, uh, from these, from this church, basically. And I guess it's where he's, like, burying his gold. Hold on, some Wait. Am I just making notes as we go along? Yeah, it looks like it. Why do we draw those, those graves that we found uncovered? Huh. Strange. Moving on. Any shiny, shiny shinies in here? Any twinkly twinklies? Oh, we can still hear the bombs going off in the background. I feel like this is like where... This is like a location in Dark Souls where you like fight a boss or something. Oh, sweet. Treasure here. Pick it up. There we go. Scottish Ha Penny. It's cool. Still missing stuff. I'm not sure how we're missing stuff. I feel like we're checking everything. Oh, gang's all here. Ah, oh, pretty cool. Wait, Sam. Before we do anything, just want to check out this this area. Is this another shiny thing? No, it's just a weird texture effect on the ground. All right. What do we got here? Jesus? Dismiss on the left. Penitent thief? Guest is on the right. Jerk thief. <laughs> Jerk thief. <laughs> we received the due reward of our deeds. Today you will join me in paradise. Cool, I'll just hang here. You guys have fun. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Dismiss, good thief, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> Guess this jerk thief. Uh, this game's hilarious. Classic. Classic Uncharted. Avery sure had a thing for St. Dismas, huh? Well, Avery fancied himself a good thief, right? Only plundered and murdered the non-British heathens. <laughs> Guess that's what passed for good back then. <laughs> good enough. Man. Different times, man. Different freaking times. It's crazy when it was like... Okay to slaughter people in the name of the Lord. That's kind of insane. It was like generally accepted behavior. I will never know why anything like that would be accepted, but... Different times. Is this a door? Looks like a door. I don't see a way to open it though. What are these star symbols? Maybe in our book somewhere? Nah. Doesn't look like there's anything in our book. Um, I don't know. Oh, cool. This is something we haven't seen yet. Some kind of lamp. Hey, Smokey. 
Need your lighter over here. You know, get over it. That hurts my feelings. Not as much as it hurts your lungs. Thank you, Father Duffy. Oh, sick. Isn't that something? Light's coming from the other side of the wall. Oh, so maybe we have to get this light to line up with this door. Okay, I, I get it. I'm on it. On it! Hey, check it out. There's something at the Yeah, you the turn these things. Uh, let's see here. Ah, uh, I can aim the lights. <laughs> I am loving this. Hey, here we go. All right, that's that's pretty cool. That seems about what we we what we can expect with that. Uh, uh. So, connect the dots. Connecting the dots. So I can rotate. Oh, and these two can go here. Because I can't I can't make them. Yeah, probably need to line both lights up with a star at once. Yeah, I can't make the lights move closer, but I can make them move left and right and turn them. So I think this one might be wrong. Yeah, I think something like this might work better here, or maybe, yeah, this might work better like this. Yeah, that and looks right. last one should be here. All right, cool. I think the middle one I might have screwed up there a little bit. Go. I think the light's quite on it correctly. There we go. Nathan, that's it. You got it. I know I got it. I got this. That's really fucking cool, though. What are we looking at, though? That looks like a constellation. Yeah. Cool. That's Libra. The scales of justice. That's an interesting choice for a bunch of pirates. You learn, learn more. Learn more every day. I like learning from video games. Pretty, uh, pretty satisfying. Um, there we go. Just hit it. Okay, let's give this a shot. Hit it. Sesame. No treasure. <laughs> I think that's a Shambhala treasure for open sesame. Oh, nice view. No treasure though. No, but look, you see those crosses? Oh uh, yeah. Hey, is that a cave right below? Yeah, I think Avery's trying to tell us where to go next. Uh, there's one problem though. Going back that way means we have to go back toward the cathedral. And back towards Rafe. Yep. Shit. Back towards Shoreline. Keep him waiting. Alright. Let's take a look real quick. Alright, so... Oh. The moon was said to be in Libra when the city of Rome was founded and the sun passed Libra on the autumnal... Autumnal... Equinox back then, so they associated it with balance and later with justice. But why did Avery choose this sign? I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll find out later. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. I, I know nothing about constellations. I wish that was something I did look at. Um, I like taking photos of stars though. Like long exposures in a in the night sky. That's how you get that like long 
those like long circling sort of eerie looking pictures 